Hey guys, this is Monica with Romo Plans and today I'm going to be going through my 2020 planners, what I started the year with, what I'm using now, and talk a little bit about my thoughts for my 2021 planners this far. Okay guys, I am really excited to kind of share with you a little bit about my planning journey through 2020. It's been a crazy year. A lot has changed from the beginning in January when we were um, saying that it was going to be the best year yet and definitely a lot of changes in my planners. So I wanted to walk you through with my planners for 2020. Some of these I started in 2020, January but I no longer use some of them I use in a different way. And then some of them I have picked up along the way. So first off is my Erin Condren academic planner and how first can we talk about this cover? I love this cover. It's, it's one of my favorite covers from them. So when we started this planner, this was my, uh, as we go throughout the month planner, this was my weekly planner. It had my work stuff. It had my personal stuff in here. It just was great. I I liked it because I could put my, put my schedule in it. I could put my work to-dos. It had the to-do section. But as we went through and hit March, you can kind of see where it kind of just... Like I went through, I think this was the last week that I actually really planned in it. This, I just kind of back planned in it. This, you can just see, it just kind of went off the rails. So then I kind of picked it up a little bit back in April because I was working from home and I still needed a spot to put everything. Um, even though with COVID, just everything went crazy basically <laughs> so the way i use this now is i don't use this as my weekly planner anymore because when i got my daily duo it just with the daily with everything that was going on it was too much for me to keep up with a weekly planner and a daily planner so now i use this as my faith planner so what I do is I just kind of, I decor, put a decorative box in this section to cover up the to-do section. I use a, just a regular box for, and put the verse of the day, and then I write my verse of the day. And then I also put gratitude on the monthly spread. So I really like this. I can even, it does have no pages. This comes with four note pages with each month. So I could even put sermon notes in here too. So I really like just having the spot to just jot down, take some time and just reflect and do my verse of the day and have um, as part of my Bible study. So that is what I'm using the air, this academic planner for right now. The next planner is my daily duo and this cover is actually from the fall seasonal surprise box so my daily duo i absolutely love and i love this it has i'm able to put work stuff i'm able to put home stuff in it it has a lot of space for this and just i'm able to keep it cute and functional and it's still very um it's still very functional like I have a place for my schedule. I have a place for my to-dos. I can separate my to-dos from work and home. The weekend page, it doesn't bother me being on one page because I don't have a lot going on on the weekends right now because we're just not doing much. But I do love having a daily planner and just every night taking that 10 to 15 minutes every night and just kind of brain dumping for the next day. So my next planner that I use is my meal planner. So this is actually a productivity notebook where I write out my meal, like this is for this past week, or this, this is for this current week. And as you can see, very simple, write out the meal plan, do the grocery list. This was a great week because we didn't need that many groceries. and 
do that here but you can kind of see I like to decorate it on this page it's nice because I already have that list there and then just kind of using it's a great way to use like leftover washi and stuff if you have it from kits um, use check boxes these are planner Kate check boxes that are made for like line it's like sidebar line notes and they fit perfectly in here so it's just a great way to use up washi and just like kids are like, hey, what am I going to do? Use this for like this is was a freebie that came in a Fern Creek stickers um, order and it I use it in my daily duo. I had extra because I ended up doing two orders from her and so I went ahead and used it here and I just love it. So I just like and it's also I love when I'm meal planning and I am kind of stuck on what to do, I can look back and say, oh, when was the last time we had tacos? Or when was the last time we had this? Or get, and get ideas from there. So that is what I'm using this for. The next planner is my really chunky one. Like this thing is so chunky. It is my budget planner and I do my budget January to December. So I have about three months left of this budget planner and it is my favorite, probably my favorite because I can look back and see where we were with our debt and everything before the beginning of the year and where we are now and just keep track of everything. So. I just use this to keep track of my sinking funds, our debt, um, our expenses on the monthly, the budget, and then also the transaction log for our sinking funds. So definitely, um, if you haven't already, check out my budget videos um, where I'm setting this up and going through my weekly check-ins. I just love this planner. It is, it is the Erin Condren monthly planner. And it is a great planner for this. And the next version that the layers even has more pages and I'm so excited. I actually picked mine up. I'm so excited to use that for 2021. This next planner is a happy planner. And so I started my planning when I started in the planning community, I was a happy, I use happy planner for everything. And I bought all of the things and I just kind of got to the point where I wanted to simplify my planning a little bit. I know that seems funny seeing as I have all of these planners, but um, so I kind of got moved away from there. But when I started my YouTube channel, I just needed a place, not a huge place, but I needed a place to just brain dump on a weekly basis my what I wanted to do for my YouTube channel for the week. And so I picked up this planner and you can see, I picked up this planner at Michael's on like clearance. And you can see I use the monthly spread to plan out my content. I made these little box stickers that fit pretty perfectly in this monthly spread. So I plan my content out here, a um, little bit of a sneak peek. And then this is the current week. So I have, um, so it's like I write down my Instagram posts, my videos that are going live, what I need to film, want to, want to film and edit. Still have some decorative because I do have like a lot of space here that I don't really have a use for because I do just have a YouTube and an Instagram, but I just love it. The pages are, um, they're really neutral. The only color is this. And they even have their, in their 2021 collection, they even have a more neutral mini. So I really like having this just kind of as a brain dump to, so I can keep what I want to do organized and so I can stay consistent with that. The next one is one I started in January and I was doing great great with. This is my reading planner. <laughs> and I will say that if you are looking for a reading planner, you need to look at this planner because this is by, it's Plan with Monica. 
and she has a shop called Peanut Butter Taco on Etsy. And she just released her 2021 planner of this. And so it's great. Like it has the bookshelf in the beginning. It has some dot grid pages, a line page, like goal setting for your reading. It has the monthly spread. I ended up getting the monthly version. So then it just has this line page. And this is kind of what I was doing for, um, it had two dot grid pages and then your monthly wrap up. And it went throughout the time. And you can see in March, it kind of stopped. I just, when, when March hit and everything went crazy, I just kind of stopped reading and I've recently kind of picked it up like May I read one book and I've recently picked it up but I just um I just don't update it anymore and it's so sad because I do love it so but it is a great planner um, I will leave a link to it below like it has all of these pages in the back and you can put reviews, favorite quotes, what you liked, like books that were TV shows, books that are movies, the ones you didn't love, the ones you definitely loved, how you did with your goals, book superlatives, and then it has some dot grid pages. And what I did with the dot grid pages where I, is I had an alphabet challenge. These stickers are from her shop too. All of these stickers are from her shop. Rainbow challenge, um, did a romance challenge. And you can just see, I just didn't, um, now these I did make, but I just didn't, I just kind of stopped reading. Like I have all these stickers. So what I think I'm gonna do for 2021 is just so I don't have this huge commitment, I think I'm going to implement reading into my pl main planner into the notes pages within the month and just kind of track my reading there. But if you are looking, if you want a standalone reading planner, I highly recommend the bookworm planner. And because it is great, she has a weekly option that has the line pages. Um, let me show you. So her weekly option has like four or five of these pages and it's great because there are seven and so you could you can do one a day and if you don't have a lot of plans you could honestly make this your main planner and then just kind of you know track your reading and stuff too so if you um if you don't have a lot of plans because there is not a lot of space up here but it's just really great so highly recommend it I just I stopped reading and I miss it. I'm doing more audiobooks now. Um, I just haven't really gotten back into the groove of reading, but I am starting to a little bit. And because I was reading like one to two books a week, <laughs> and now I'm reading like one to two books a month. <laughs> so it's definitely something I want to get back to. So the last one that I'm going to talk about isn't really a planner. But it's more of a notebook, but I definitely want to mention it because I love it. It is my wild university notebook. And this planner I got from a Happy Notes notebook from the Happy Planner. I just thought it fits so well. It says wild ideas. And then it just has this stuff. Um, these are notes from the opening celebration. I made these dividers and then I just printed out the notes. Um, so with every course with Wild University, they have printables. So I just printed them out on Happy Planner paper. This is blank Happy Planner paper. And I just thought the purple um, leopard went so well with it. And so there's just that. And then I'm able to do notes in it. Um, so I have one, I have a section for each category and and everything and as you can see not all of them have I've printed stuff out for it I do love wild I, I love wild you because you go at your own pace and you could do you do the classes that you're most drawn to so 
you know, for the business section, um, I just did, I watched starting a successful YouTube channel by playing with Laura and it was just great. You know, you know, she brought up a lot of things that I hadn't thought of. And so in the classes, the classes themselves, they're, um, they're very short. So it's, but you get so much information out of these classes. So that is what I'm doing to keep up with my wild you book notes and everything. Um, I will probably at some point have to move these to bigger discs, but right now the mini discs work and everything. So that is my planners that I have used in 2020. And so I have my wild you notebook, my reading planner that's, you know, poor, poor thing. Um, what I do my social media in, my budget planner, my meal planner, my daily planner, and then my faith planner. So this is it. This is, I mean, it's a lot, but like the faith planner, I spend, you know, 10 to 15 minutes in it a day, just thinking about what I'm grateful for, just having that time in the word. My daily planner, it's open all day on my desk. Budget planner. So a lot of these I don't use every day. So for 2021, I've really thought about the planners that I want to use. And there are definitely decisions that I've made. There's still, um, you know, I did go ahead and pick up this budget planner, this monthly planner. So cute. Um, from the friends and family cell at Erin Condren for, to use as my budget planner. I've already started kind of prepping this a little bit with sticky notes and pl planning out what I want to do with it and, and everything. I do have the daily do the second half of the daily duo. I'm honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or I'm going to go into a smaller daily planner. That is something that's still up in the air for me. And then I'm pretty like 99% sure I will be um, getting a Mac Moxie Life for 2021 to have just a weekly overview because I do miss the weekly overview. Um, and, and then also with the goal setting aspect of it. I just am really excited about that. So I hope you like this video. Um, let me know in the comments if your, how your planning has changed. I know a lot of things have happened in the planning community this year. A lot of things have happened in our world this year um, where we just don't have a lot to plan for like we did in the big first two months. So let me know um, how your planning has changed and what you're thinking about for 2021. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day.